Hi there, so now we're going to look at how to upload a WordPress theme using Core FTP. So uh, we'll just start off very quickly, cut to the chase. This is what we're looking at here, our themes page here on WordPress. And as you can see, we don't, we've got a few themes there, nothing spectacular. But um, as opposed to installing themes through the install themes function and upload, which we can do just here, we're actually going to install them using an FTP program called Core FTP. So I'll just switch back to Core FTP for a moment. This is where we go to connect to our server. As you can see I've got a new site profile here. Um, basically this is where you can start setting things up. You can give your website a name like website and obviously you want to get these details from your host. Uh, if your domain name was hypothetically website.com you'd make it you know, ftp.website.com or whatever your domain name is uh, depending on your FTP server settings. Um, you'll be given the username and email from uh, your host as well, so you put those in there. And there may even be a few other little settings here, but once again, if you have any trouble connecting, you may have to contact your um, hosting company to host your website. So from there, once you've set all that up, we just basically hit connect and uh, this button here, and we can then start to upload the theme. So I'm already connected to a website here, which I don't want to give the credentials away for, so uh, we've got public HTML which is where the website's hosted Now this could be different depending on which host you use but for the sake of this video it's public HTML once we're into the public HTML area which could also be named www or some other folder we see we've got some WordPress folders here this is from our WordPress installation what we want to do is go to WP content and then to themes as you can see we've got the same themes that were listed back on the website here but we want to upload our new theme so we're going to go back to core FTP We've got a theme here ready to upload, so what I need to do is actually extract that folder, that zip file into a folder. So I'll basically just do that for a second. It's important that after you download the theme, it's usually zip that you do extract it using WinZip or WinRAR or something similar. So let's just refresh that. You can see I now have a folder available here called Builder. And what I want to do is upload this folder into the Themes folder. So all I need to do is simply click and drag or even just right click upload. As you can see, the file will start to upload. So now we've just skipped forward a little bit because it does take a bit of time to upload um, thanks to the uh, reasonably slow bandwidth we have here in Australia. Um, as you can see, we're uploading these items. We simply just wait as they all upload automatically and now we're done. As you can see, there is now a builder folder under our themes folder here on the FTP site. So if I switch back to WordPress and simply refresh, we have a builder theme. So from there, all you need to do is activate it and uh, you're ready to start customizing the theme, which obviously we won't cover in this video. We'll do that in another video. So that's Basically, it's pretty simple. Um, it's very easy to upload your own theme in WordPress if you can't do it through the uh, browser for some reason. Um, so yeah, hopefully that solves any questions or problems you might have. Um, otherwise, please send us an email. Um, don't forget to check us out on www.designwebidentity.com. If you did like this video, please head to our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash designwebidentity. And thanks for watching. See ya.